Welcome to Halifax Health, the safest place to have your baby. My name is Shelley Jones and I'm the Maternity Nurse Navigator at Halifax Health. Today I'm going to bring you on a virtual tour on the process that you will go through when you come to deliver your baby and start your family at Halifax Health. This is the second floor of the Fountain Tower at Halifax Health. This is our labor and delivery entry point. Everyone will stop at the registration room on labor and delivery to begin your journey with us at Halifax Health. After registration, you will be brought to a room that looks much like this. At Halifax Health, we're very fortunate to have an OB hospitalist program. A hospitalist program is where we have a board-certified OB-GYN physician who is in-house on our unit 24-7. That's what makes Halifax Health the safest place to have your baby. The hospitalist will come in, they will evaluate you and determine whether you're in labor or not. If you are in labor, they will move you to a labor room and notify your provider of your admission. Your provider will then be in to manage your care from that point forward. If you are not in labor, they will send you home with clear instructions to follow up with your provider. Once you're admitted to labor, you'll be brought to a room that looks much like this one. This is our labor bed at Halifax Health, and this over here is a bed for your support person. Our bed does has many options to it. It has foot pedals that come out to make pushing more comfortable for mom. It also has accommodations for a squat bar to be put in place to make birthing more comfortable for mom. During the labor process, we also have items that will be available for your use. We have birthing balls, we also have the peanut ball, and we have a cub, which stands for comfortable upright birthing. We also have available aromatherapy and Bluetooth speakers. When it comes time for delivery, that is when your provider will be called to the room along with the nursery nurse and respiratory therapist who attend all of our deliveries. Your baby will deliver and go directly skin to skin. If you wish to have your baby dried off first, that would be something that you could communicate to us so that we can abide by your wishes. We will wait and do delayed cord clamping. If you have a support person that desires to cut the cord, we're happy to do that also. For the next hour and a half to two hours after delivery, that is known as your baby's transition time and your recovery time. Our nursery nurses will be available to help you with breastfeeding at that time, and your nurse will be making sure that you are transitioning through your recovery as expected. Once this period is over, you will then be moved to a mother baby or postpartum room on the first floor of the Fountain Building. When you're in labor, if you should like some pain relief, we have a couple of options available for you. You can have IV pain medication that's given directly into your IV, or you may desire an epidural. This is an epidural pump, and since Halifax Health is a trauma center, we have anesthesia in-house 24-7. Here at Halifax Health, we take the security of your baby very seriously. At the time of delivery, there are inserts that are filled out with patient information and details about the delivery that will be inserted into these bands. All four of these bands are matching. One band will go to mom, one band goes to whoever she designates. The other two bands go to the baby, one on the wrist and one on the ankle. All four numbers on the bands are matching. These numbers will be verified by staff during your stay at Halifax Health to be sure that mom and baby are safely together. In addition, this is our hospital security band. Once this band is fastened on the other ankle of the baby, 
it will register on a screen at the nurse's station. It will have your patient information, your room number, the sex of the baby, and the number of the band. Should this band come unfastened or be cut, it will set off an alarm throughout the hospital. After the delivery of your baby, you will be moved to our mother baby or postpartum unit, which is located on the first floor of the Fountain Tower at Halifax Health. All of our rooms on this unit are private rooms, and you will find a regular hospital bed for mom and accommodations for your support person so that they may remain with you throughout your hospital stay. There is a bassinet for your baby, which will contain everything needed to help you care for your baby. All of our patients on Mother Baby will be seen by our lactation consultant. The typical stay for a vaginal delivery is two days and for a C-section is three days. Should you require a cesarean section for the delivery of your baby, whether it is planned or unplanned, you would enter our operating area through the double doors at the end of the hallway. Our surgical area has two OR suites and a recovery area. If your surgery is non-emergent, you will be allowed to be accompanied by a support person. We also highly encourage skin to skin while they are completing your surgery. Once surgery is completed, you will go to a recovery room where your recovery will be exactly the same as it would be in our labor room. Another reason why Halifax Health is the safest place to have your baby is because we are the area's only level three neonatal intensive care unit. We have neonatal nurse practitioners on staff 24 hours a day, along with our nursing staff and our neonatology team. Should your baby require extra care, we are here. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour at Halifax Health, the safest place to have your baby. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me at 386-425-BABY or visit us on our website at halifaxhealth.org backslash OB.